I don't think it needs to be said that Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree is an absolutely adorable short. This animation was actually released in 1966 based on the original story by A. A. Mel, and I'd say it's probably one of the most iconic Winnie the Pooh stories. There are maybe four or five Winnie the Pooh stories that I think pretty much every child has seen at some point, and this is definitely one that I have quite fond memories of. This one was directed by the brilliant Wolfgang Reitherman, and in this one, Winnie the Pooh is desperate for some honey, so he tries to get some honey, but unfortunately, he gets himself stuck in the honey tree. Now, I don't know what a honey tree is, but if such a thing exists anywhere, somehow, and there are no bees around, I would be tempted to stick my head in it as well. Because the animation for this is delicious. The golden honey just dripping everywhere and oozing in pools does just look delicious. I've never ever come across honey that looks like the honey that Pooh Bear eats, but it definitely looks amazing. But he gets himself stuck into these different kinds of sticky situations, both literally and figuratively. And at one point, he becomes genuinely stuck. Not just a little wedged in somewhere, but he actually becomes stuck in this one location. And his friends can't pull him out. So they very kindly spend a couple of days <laughs> sitting with him, being there for him. Kanga is certainly very mothering towards him. Until eventually... Basically, he's been stuck in the same position and hasn't really eaten anything for a few days. I get the impression that he's kind of lost a couple of millimetres from his waistline and finally is able to wiggle free, wiggle free. But that is not the end. Something else happens and it gives us this gorgeous animation and it's just a lot of fun and I really like the narrative. There is an underlying message here of don't eat so much honey, otherwise you too might get wedged somewhere. Of course, this applies to other unhealthy foodstuffs as well. Everything in moderation is fine, but Pooh Bear and Honey, he doesn't really know the meaning of the word moderation, and we see him eating a lot of honey in this, helping himself to rabbit's honey. He is ravishing, he is desperate for this honey. I think he has an addiction. And as the story progresses, we realise that that can cause some problems. I think the animation for this is beautiful. It is a very beneficial message, because children especially, are partial to sweet foods and certain children, I was one of those children, would quite happily eat all of the sweet foods were they allowed. And unfortunately I probably had a quite bad diet growing up and that didn't necessarily do my mental health any favours. And I think Pooh Bear could learn a lesson or two from that. Generally speaking though, it's a really strong message that children will I think subconsciously pick up on. Nobody ever directly says to Pooh Bear, oi, cut it out. You know, it's not quite as ab as abrasive as that. I really enjoy it. It's one that I loved as a child. It's one that I still love today. I think it's a very sweet story. That pun wasn't intended. And it does have some really beautiful animation. And that golden honey desperately makes me want honey. And I think I have honey in my cupboard right now. I'm not going to put it in a jar and put my whole fist in it. But it's very tempting. It is... Um, a very inspiring episode that makes me want to eat a lot of honey. Thoroughly enjoyed Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. It's one that will always be in my heart. Definitely brings me back very many happy memories. As soon as that introduction starts with the classic Pooh Bear theme song and that gorgeous classic animation. Really thoroughly like it. It's absolutely adorable.